Hello everyone, long time no see. I haven't filmed a video in a long time because I'll be completely honest with you, I kind of fell out of love with YouTube. I kind of felt like what once was such a, you know, honest community kind of changed. I felt like every video that I was watching I was being pushed and like force fed products. And that's kind of not why I fell in love with YouTube originally. Um, so I kind of just took a little break. But my video that I had planned was to do a full face of Primark makeup. Because I am a self-confessed makeup snob. I'm not going to lie about it. But I do like high-end makeup. And I think being a makeup artist, that's where I get it from. Obviously, I don't want to be using, you know, crappy products on my clients. It doesn't look great when you turn up with Primark makeup. However, I've heard so many people saying about how good the makeup is from um, Primark. So I went into my Primark store and I was all guns blazing to do a full look, was going to buy everything. And then I saw what I thought was Kim Kardashian's makeup range. But it's not. Primark somehow have managed to completely rip Primark off. <laughs> um, no, Kim Kardashian off. Um, I don't know how they've got away with it. The packaging is so similar in my opinion. Some of the items are almost identical. Now I can't sit here and compare the two because I didn't actually buy anything from the Kim Kardashian range purely because I watched the videos on YouTube, didn't like what I saw in the reviews, thought the price point was really high for what you were getting and just didn't bother with it. And that is, says a lot for me because I am a big Kardashian fan for my sins. I know all of you will probably say, oh, they're hideous, blah, 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 but I actually do like them. So anyway, back to this, what I picked up in um, Primark. I filmed this look for you. Um, I don't like the eyeshadow palette. I'm just gonna throw it out there. Um, I am using this eyeshadow palette. I didn't use all the colors. I just stuck to the plums and pinks, um, but I'm, I, I kind of confirmed how I would feel about it from the minute I swatched them at the beginning. I was, they're just not great quality, in my opinion. Um, but I would suggest that you try out the liquid lips and the um, contour palettes and such like. I'll probably talk about it much more as I go along. But I do understand that not everybody has a lot of money to spend on high-end stuff. So I think as a look, as a whole, looking at my face now in this viewfinder, I don't think it's half bad. Like, I wouldn't look at me and think, oh my god, her makeup looks really cheap. Um, you will need to invest in some good brushes, I'm not going to lie, I think they're worth their weight in gold when you buy a good brush, um, they last you for a long time if you look after them, and I do think that's the difference sometimes between a good makeup application and a bad one. But let's get into the look, I'll let you decide, tell me what you think, um, yeah, like I say, some were good, some were bad, but lucky niece is going to benefit from all this makeup because... I can't lie, this is not going in my makeup artist kit. Sorry. Anyway, enjoy the video and let me know what you think. If you've tried any of these products and you actually do like them, let me know and yeah, on with the look. Oh, and also, I should probably just apologize. Even though I'm gonna be apologizing a million times throughout the video, the lighting situation is very dire today. It's snowing. A blizzard blowing a blizzard outside and I'm really sorry that I am just pants at lighting it's my area that I'm just not interested in learning about and it clearly shows in my video so anyway enough babbling enjoy the video so I'm gonna start off with my eyes I've already put my foundation on and my concealer and my brows because I didn't um, grab anything from the collection uh, that could do that so I thought I would just start off with that so I didn't scare any of you when I come on here um, and the first thing that I'm going to show you is the 28 piece nudes eyeshadow palette now I'm really sorry that the ring light is reflecting in here I'm having a nightmare with my lighting today it is snowing outside so yeah it's not the best it's very grey so I've always said I've never been great at lighting, I don't know what's going on with it, so we're just going to have to struggle through because this is just not good. <laughs> but the 28 piece um, nudes, oh my god this is going to run crazy, nudes palette, which I don't believe Kim Kardashian's got unless 
I'm missing something. But at least I can show you inside the palette now. So you get 28 um, shades. Oh god, it's not even good when I'm showing you like this, is it? I can still see the ring light. Um, 28 shades. I'll try and hold it up. Um, they're nothing kind of groundbreaking. I've probably got most of the colours in here. Um, I have had a little touch. You can probably see where I swatched. Um, they are quite talky, is what I would say. The smell reminds me of, you know, those little kits that you used to get from Argos when you were younger. Kind of reminds me of that, which is not a great start. But I do like the way that the palette looks. It's a nice size. It's a nice weight. Um, so I'm probably going to use... Um, these pink shades today. I also purchased a little like cream eyeshadow and this is in the colour hmm, Enchanted. I was going to say the whole collection is not very good at giving itself a name like the lip glosses and stuff don't have any names so I was kind of expecting this not to have one but it does. So let's crack in with the look, crack in, crack on with the eye look. <laughs> You can tell I'm rusty at this, can't you? I haven't filmed a YouTube video in so long. So I've just zoomed you in to show you a better sort of visual of the eyes. You can tell I'm so rusty at this, can't you? So I'm going to go in with my Zoeva fluffy brush. And this is the 227. Like most of my eye looks start this way. But I'm going to take this colour here, which is no name because they don't have any names. So the second one in... It looks like just a really good, um, ooh, they give a lot of fallout. Um, yeah, lots of fallout, if you can see, but we'll give it a go. I have no idea uh, where this eye look is going to go, by the way, so I really do hope it turns out all right. <laughs> it's more about just, like, testing the products so that you know what they're like anyway rather than like a step-by-step -step look you know what I've decided that I'm gonna do um just this eye on camera otherwise we're gonna be forever with this look because I've got contour and lip stuff to show you as well so yeah I'm just going back and forth with the um contrast color it's okay it's given a little bit of warmth Yeah, it's okay. It probably shows up better in real life than it does on there. It's blending quite nicely. Gonna take... I'm going... Mm, no. I'm going in with this peachy tone here. Again, it doesn't really give a lot of colour payoff. I feel like it's just leaving a shimmer behind. Um, sort of mid-tone dusky pink shade same brush I'm still going in with that I'm just loving the fallout that's coming from these mm. I mean that one showed up better but I feel like it's a really dated shade. I feel like it's a very 80s pink. Now I'm taking my Anastasia um, brush that you get with the kits. And I'm going to go in with the darker burgundy shade. Ow. Ow. Bloody hell. <laughs> the corners of these palettes are freaking sharp. Just stabbed me. Oh. So I'm concentrating it on the outer section. I'm not loving these, by the way. I mean, look at the fallout. <laughs> I feel like there is a lot of fallout on my cheek. I don't know if you can see very well because it's really bleached on here but in real life there is so much I'm going to swipe now so you can see so much fallout on my cheek and I don't really feel like there's much going on my eye it's mainly on my cheek <laughs> yeah I thought I'd zoom you in a little bit more so you could see the colours that I've just created 
Um, remember that in real life this is a lot more because I always do get frustrated about how on camera nothing looks as like dramatic as it does in real life. But hopefully when I um, pan out with the whole look and show you it after you'll be able to see what sort of, um, you know, how it looks with just the window sort of on it. Because sometimes these ring lights can really... Um, sort of bleach out your look which is such a shame really but um pigmentation wise not overly impressed so far but like i said i'm going to keep going i'm going to keep building up that burgundy because it's probably the nicest shade in the palette it's just that it's underneath my eye which actually works a lot better than actually on my eye I have to tell you, oh, this is just a mess. Uh, look at the fallout. Focus. Look at the fallout, guys. That is just, that's from tapping my brush. I pretty much made up my mind on how I feel about um, the eyeshadow palette. But I'm going to go in with the cream. This is the shade Enchanted. It's a cream shadow. Um, comes in really nice packaging. And I'm going to use it to carve out my crease when my camera decides to focus. I have something similar to this. I have um, a little pot like this by Charlotte Tilbury in the colour Jean. And it is literally one of my favourite things to use. So I'm not doing like a harsh carve out or anything like that. I'm literally just going in and sort of taking away the colour that might have got on the mobile lid from the disaster that was the pink. There's not much, I'm gonna go in with this shimmery peachy champagne colour and see how this performs. Oh, I'm really just not loving these eyeshadows. They just don't. Look how much that's clung. I feel like it's really clinging to just one part. Oh, what an eye makeup look this is going to be. Mm, again, not super impressed. Anyway, I'm going to even up uh, and do the other eye add some mascara, add some lashes, and then we'll crack on with the rest of the face. So now I'm gonna do contour. I think I've already decided that I'm not gonna be keeping the eyeshadow palette. I'm probably gonna give it to my niece or my sister-in-law. And that's not to say that they deserve crappy makeup. It's more to say they're not makeup artists and they'll probably get much more use out of it than I will. So. The next thing I'm going to show you is this um, highlight and contour kit and this was the main reason that I decided to do this video because inside you get the um, rather suspect looking applicator that Kim Kardashian's range was kind of known for. I watched a lot of videos and a lot of people moaned about it saying that the um, tip was really hard and not very good for blending and that this brush wasn't fantastic either so I thought I'd definitely like to give it a go so the first thing that I'm going to use is if I can figure out right this is the um, cream contour duo and one thing I've noticed because I have played around with this before you don't get an awful lot of product in there and it's kind of just or you get two but it's one shade for all and I know for a lot of fair skinned people this shade is going to be horrendously dark so yeah I don't really know why they didn't do a selection but I only saw this colour so I'm going to contour as usual and see I'll try and use this brush at first see how we get on um, and then if not I'll go in with my trusty Zoeva flat end brush um, Gonna get a bit closer to you. Let's see how we get on. So I'm just gonna draw. Oh god, it's very dark. It's darker than I would normally use. And I, 
I mean, I only kind of contour my cheekbones ever. I don't really contour my forehead that much, but let's see. Oh, that blended easier than I thought it was going to. But I do kind of feel like it's blended to nothing. Mm. And I feel like no matter how precise you are with your lines, this is just going to be too round and sort of too non-precise to blend it. But I'm going to go back in again with my brush. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. I'm not going to bash that too much. But it does look a little bit muddy and it's a lot harder to blend than my usual um, Bobbi Brown that I use. I normally use the Bobbi Brown foundation sticks. But just going to go in again. But like I said, I think this is really dark um, for fair skinned people. I mean, I've got a little bit of fake tan on at the minute, so I feel like it kind of works. But I definitely don't rate the um, the brush that it comes with. I kind of like how it looks on my forehead. I like to go around the edge of my lips because it gives it a slightly fuller look as well. You know what? That's not bad. That's not bad. I can't complain about that too much. I just feel like you might get through the product quite quickly because I do find, for me, because I have zero cheap <laughs> cheekbones that you might need to add quite a bit i'm sorry i'm struggling so much with my lighting today but it's never been one of my strong points getting my lighting right for my um videos so i'm really sorry so just with the remainder that's on my brush i like to go down my nose i've got a pretty straight nose as it is but i just like to structure it a little bit more just make sure that it's really buffed in yeah, it's not bad I don't mind that I think it's quite good that's the first plus so far so next in the kit you I'm trying to use all the products by the way I don't normally use like an eyebrow highlighter as like a cream as such but you get this little um, eyebrow highlighter so I might as well use it and, um, I feel like that's a little bit 80s, but it's okay. It's not something I'd rush out and buy, but it does it does give a nice like little shimmer to your brow bit and it does carve out nicely. Like the shape of it's really nice to sort of carve. In fact, I'm gonna use this just on my Cupid's bow because Later on, uh, when I come to doing my lips and highlighting, this will make them look filler because I would love to have lip fillers, but I'm petrified of needles. <laughs> so this is going to give me the look of like a fuller top lip, hopefully. So I'm just going to come a little bit closer so you can see. Um, it is all right, actually. I Like I said, I really like the shape for carving out. So that's okay, that's not bad. Now, I know I'm gonna have a problem with this last item. God, don't you hate plastic packets? It's like crunching in the background. I already looked at this and I'm gonna do a swatch because I can't believe they've put this in as a cream highlighter duo. This is one shade suits all apparently. I think this looks like plastic cheese. I mean, it's horrid. It is horrible, 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 horrible. Um, I don't even want to use this. I'm not going to use this. So next thing that I'm going to show you is the nudes. And this is the contour palette. So in here you get four shades. You've got a white shimmer, which I'm not really a fan of. I know it's very like popular. Lots of people like that sort of white highlight. For me, it it's, doesn't work for my skin tone. It's got a lovely colour called Pure and a lovely colour called Exposed. And then you've got your actual contour reveal. Um, this is your powder contour. So, right, so I'm going to go into reveal, which is the dark brown. I'm just using my Zoeva brush. Oh, God. That's strong. I usually use Harmony by MAC, which is one of their blushes, if I'm going to carve out, or Anastasia Earth. 
but I'm just gonna take some onto my forehead. As I've got older, like I never used to have a problem with a big forehead. But as I've got older, like I've really noticed it's getting bigger, guys. It is getting bigger. Again, a little bit of residue on my brush, so I'll just go down my nose and then I'll go to the other side. Yeah, I quite like that. Do some on my double chin. See if it can create miracles, which you probably can't. Yeah, that's okay. I like that. Just for um, whilst we're here, just because I didn't use the other um, highlight colour, I'm just going to take my Tarte um, shape tape, put a little bit more because I've already got quite a lot, just to see how this um, little brush thing blends, which I've, no, it's terrible. <laughs> Itch. Uh, oh god. It doesn't even bounce off your skin. It, it's rock hard. I feel like it's just taking the product up. Guys, I cannot stress to you enough. Invest in a beauty blender. I know it's expensive. I know it's just a bit of foam, but it will be the best decision you've ever made. Don't even bother with this little contraption. It's not good. Right, blush. I'm going to go in with the only blush that I've got, and that is exposed. Not typically a colour I would wear, but we'll try it. In the name of research. Um, I'm using my viewfinder as a mirror now, which is a bit disaster. Of a disaster, because then when I look in my real mirror, it's, it's a lot more. This is nice. I actually do like this. It goes on very easily. Um, yeah, I like that. Again, the shade is a little bit, this whole kind of cheaper range stuff reminds me of the 80s and I don't know why. I just feel like the colours are very, like, basic. Does that make sense? Like, it's just very coral. Um, so I'm just dabbing it away a little bit with my beauty blender. Right. Um, next thing that I bought, which actually isn't part of the nudes collection, but it's the Pure Glow Highlighter Palette because I couldn't pass this up. It actually looks really good. And if this is not good, I'm going to be really disappointed. So it reminds me of the Anastasia um, Beverly Hills. So you've got Desert, um, Glimmer, Eden and Firefly. I think I'm going to go in with Glimmer, which is probably more my sort of champagne colour. I have heard good things about these highlighters, so I'm really hoping they're going to be good. Yes, they are. Look at that. That's actually really pretty. And one thing I will say, maybe it's because I'm a crusty, 30, nearly 2-year-old uh, vlogger. Well, loosely termed, because I hardly film on here. I'm not going to say... I'm shook because I cannot tell you and this is no offense to anybody that does use that term because I know a lot of youngsters do um, I cannot stand that word to describe stuff if you like something there are so many words you can use other than I'm shook I'm shook no stop using the word shook <laughs> I'm gonna get so many um, like down thumbs for that but honestly it's the one word that everyone seems to use to describe stuff when I'm watching these videos and I can honestly say it makes me switch off straight away so anyway ran over I love this this is brilliant um hopefully you can see I don't have like the most like amazing skin to show this highlighter off but I really really like it I've probably gone a bit overboard on my nose so just Quickly take that away. On the subject of like shimmery highlighters, I also picked up, sorry my chair is so squeaky, I also picked up this which is the um, Body Shimmer. I don't know what colour it's in because it doesn't say, I think it just comes in one colour. And this I bought because I wanted, uh, when I go on holiday, like a beautiful, um, you know like when people just have naturally like sheeny beautiful skin. Well, I don't have that, so um, I don't know if you can see, but it's really pretty. And that also can be used as a highlighter and on the inner corner of your eyes and stuff like that. They do do like some duo sets, but I've got plenty of lip liners, so I was like, I'm just going to use my own. So I'm just going to use my MAC um, stripped down lip liner. But 
I'm going to show you the collection that I got. Um, I'm going to pop some swatches in of these colours. Not all of them are my colour. I really thought that I would love this little guy on the end, which is like the lip toppers that I've seen going around. But it's too baby pink for me. So I'm just going to go with one of their matte lip colours, which is the darker one of the lot. Um, again, they don't have a colour, like a name. So bear with. Jouer, if you've ever had a Jouer lip um, product, they smell like that, like icing, cake icing. Uh, my lips are really dry at the Oh. Okay. One thing, the doe foot, the applicator, is really, really bendy. So you're trying to like get it on and you're finding that it's sort of moving. It's not my usual colour, but I don't mind it. It's a little bit sort of um, orangey toned for me. But that is everything I have to show you. Like I say, I'm just going to quickly give you some little swatches of these um, lip colours. So I'm going to show you this one first, which is what I would assume to be like a lip topper, which is there. It's quite nice. And again, it looks really cute. Like if I was, you know, younger, I'd be quite happy to pull that out of my handbag. And then the next one I want to show you is another gloss. And it's this one I've already played with. I'm going to use it actually because I think this needs toning down a little bit. Uh, it's quite a thick, opaque um, gloss. So, in fact, I wouldn't even call it like a gloss as such. Um, but they do. So that's really nice. Um, this next matte lip colour I'll probably be giving away. It's not for me. It's a very baby pink tone. I thought in the packaging that I would love it. I thought, oh, that would be so nice. I thought it'd be more of a nude. But it reminds me again of an 80s pink colour. I'm just not sold on it. So yeah, that's the look. I know it's nothing groundbreaking. I'm sure there are... Sorry, I'm just getting my wet mic. Um, many other better reviews out there but I just was interested for myself to try this um so I thought I'd just film it and I kind of wish I hadn't now because the lighting is so bad you're probably all gonna hate it and I've probably offended everybody by saying that I don't like the word shook but failing that <laughs> um I have had fun um filming this and I would be interested to see how it wears um one thing that I love is the highlighter and I do quite like the contour stick um yeah it's not that bad. It's not as bad as I thought it was. But um, I hope you like this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up. You know the drill. And any questions that you've got, just drop them in the comments below. And I'll try my hardest to answer them for you. Anyway, I will see you in my next video. So I just wanted to quickly add something to this video. Just to show you what it looks like in daylight. Um, whether that's better or worse, I'm not sure. But you can see that the application of the highlight and the contour is actually quite smooth. And hopefully you can see my eye makeup um, a little bit better than my lighting before. But yeah, this is the uh, aftermath of the filming. But hopefully um, that gives you a better insight into how it looks. And yeah, I don't know what else to say. Goodbye.